I'm going to talk about how cholesterol affects your heart and what you have to do to control cholesterol levels in the blood. Cholesterol is an essential part of our body's chemical structure. It forms a part of our body cells and uh, it also forms a part of the covering of the nerve cells everywhere in the body. So obviously it's a very important uh, chemical for us. So why is cholesterol dangerous then? When the circulating blood levels of cholesterol uh, goes up, it increases the tendency for plaque formation in the inside of the arteries everywhere in the body, whether it's in the brain, in the heart's arteries, in the aorta or in the limb arteries. And when these plaques mature over a period of time, they can close off the artery leading to either strokes or heart attacks or peripheral gangrene. Therefore, one may not necessarily have high cholesterol to have plaque deposition. You may just have high blood pressure or diabetes and you could still have plaque deposition. However, high cholesterol itself plays an important role in plaque formation. So if somebody's cholesterol is high and also have diabetes or blood pressure or coronary artery disease existing, then we have to be more aggressive with their cholesterol management. We have to bring their LDL levels as low as 70 mg per deciliter. If you do not have any of these coronary risk factors, if you have an isolated high cholesterol and you, as long as it is less than 190, one can attempt lifestyle changes such as exercise, diet and uh, maintaining an ideal body weight so that the cholesterol levels come down. But if mere therapeutic lifestyle changes are not sufficient to control cholesterol level, then you will need to be on medicines as per the advice of the your doctor. There are some families where very high cholesterol levels run in the family, their LDL levels will be more than 200, sometimes as high as 300 or more. These people tend to develop heart attacks at a very early age, even as young as 10 years of age. So these people have to be aggressively managed from a very young age with medicines and lifestyle changes and sometimes additional methods. Identifying high cholesterol and managing high cholesterol with uh, diet, exercise and medications to achieve the target that is suitable for you on the advice of your doctor is very important to prevent the long-term consequences in terms of heart attacks and strokes. Thank you.